When a sonar pulse passes through the boundary of two layers, depending upon the angle, you get the bending of sound waves. With a strong thermocline, the short range data passes through the boundary and returns directly to the towfish. At the far ranges, the sonar strikes the boundary at an angle and the sonar pulse can be redirected. <laughs> Here's another 3D example of two shadows. How high do these mounds rise up off the bottom? When we look at the model from a different angle, we can see one shadow is behind a mound and the other represents a hole. When looking at the sonar image, the position of the strong return versus the shadow indicates whether a target is a hole or a mound. Working from the towfish out, Strong return, then a shadow. When the sonar is set to a range of 50 meters, the sonar pings and listens until the ping has had enough time to travel out 50 meters and return back 50 meters. The sonar then pings again. Even though the sonar has started the next ping cycle, the pulse from the first cycle is still traveling outward. When there is a strong reflector beyond the normal range, a return from ping 1 at times is received on the listening cycle of ping 2, creating this go- Crosstalk is when you have a very strong reflector on one side of the record and a mirror image of the target appears on the opposite side. Like the second sweep returns, there are no shadows. However, there is a true target on one side of the record. <laughs> 